in the name of Allah, who is uh, more graceful, uh, graceful uh, giving us uh, so blessings, uh, I will start work with the name of Allah. Uh, today I will be talking on chapter number uh, 226. I am Amir Sultan, Chief Executive Officer of UHSC Business International. Before I proceed further, I would like all of you to subscribe my uh, YouTube channel and press the bell button after doing that. Follow me on, moreover, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Thank you so much. Chapter number 226 is about communication, SOP of communication. Communication is very important and it plays a vital role in implementing and uh, running the uh, processes of the organization effectively. Uh, there are two uh, main types of communication which I will be telling you today. They are internal communication and external communication. Before I proceed further, likewise before, I will telling you how the scope it will be structured and other things. First of all, in the scope, we will define what areas of that organizations need to be covered for defining the communication process of the organization. Then we move on to purpose. In the purpose sector, we will define how the things will be structured and be written and documented for making the communication very effective for the people who will be going through that SOP. Then we move to definitions. In the definition, we will define about internal communication, what, are, what is internal communication, then we will define external communication, what is external communication, and then comes down the responsibilities. In the responsibility sector, we will define uh, the responsibility of the CEO, Chief Executive Officer of the organization, what he, the, that person needs to do. Then comes down HSC department, the personnel, the management and the other people who are involved in the ISO standard implementation effectively in the for, for the organization. <clears throat> then the last, uh, we move on to process. In the process, we will define about the external communication and external communication separately in a detailed way. For instance, in internal communication, we will write how the internal communication process moves on and go on into the organization where it has to be implemented. For instance, in many organizations, internal communication is done through memos, through uh, verbal talks, through email, through training, and so on. There are many ways how we, in which the internal communication within the organization from the management to the employees uh, working in the field and other is done within the organization. Now I will tell you about something about external communication. External communication is all type of communication which is done by the organization with your with the stakeholders which are not present in the premises of the organization. For instance, legal uh, entities uh, who are giving any laws uh, related things communication to the uh, company, uh, external auditing companies who are need to come down uh, once a year for the audits, the tax companies, the uh, the uh, anything uh, any customers, though the clients of the organization with which the uh, business is going on, suppliers with which the communication need to be done on the almost on per day basis, and many more. If you need more details, if you need documents, if you need reports, recommendations, summary, analysis, anything about this, you can contact me anywhere in the world at plus nine two double three five seven three four seven four double zero, and you can reach me on my email at amir at yahoo.com. Thank you so much.